all this is a result of uh, in the old days we used to do it on concrete, dance on concrete in the roadhouse. It was crazed. Shin splints by the dozen. So uh, about eight of us, 22 years ago or so, and I was a part of that, decided that uh, we need to do something to change that dynamic. A small group of people suggested this and were told they were crazy. Put together a fundraising scheme. We sold the floor in $25 increments and lots of the dance community bought in and bought a panel and clogging groups, bands, different groups, from people from Portland, people from BC, lots of people who come to Folk Life all contributed and we raised the money really quickly and it's been going ever since. And it costs about $1,000 a year. Found a guy named John Vedino who knew about this design. He had used it before for a dance troupe. So we figured the whole thing would last about five years. There's a small committee that's been doing it for over 20 years. It's been, been done the same way forever yep. and ever and ever. It lives most of the year in somebody's garage. We've been out here in Redmond for, golly, 10 or 12 years, maybe even longer. We pick it up on a Wednesday night with a crew of army ants like this. We loaded it last night on a big truck, got forked off here. And then tomorrow morning, about 10 o'clock, more people show up, some of the same ones at the center. The pallets are undone one at a time. People start laying the thing down. And they just show up. And as you can see, everything is running so smoothly because most of them have done it a whole bunch of times and know what we're doing. And um, they, in fact, then work anybody new into the system so that it just flows. Two layers of the foam core go down first, the fuzz board. It's two layers of um, homosote and a layer of masonite on top. And uh, then the painted masonite goes over the top and the whole thing gets taped off. And we'll get it laid, then we'll vacuum it, we will tape it together and wash it and wax it. Mopped, waxed, polished. And let it sit for an hour and wax it again. The main thing is that we rely on is lots of volunteers. A lot of people have helped us year after year. Actually, this is my 20th. Bringing it out of the garage, loading it on the truck, helping lay it and put it away. And crazy dancing happens for four days. And then the whole thing gets undone Monday night, the last night of the festival. And we just invite all the dancers who are here to stay around and help us. And often 50, 60 people do, and it goes really quickly.